All right, so it is Saturday morning and I am just starting my summer break. So thankfully in between our second and third year, we get a one week break, um, right? The first week of July. Last year between M1 and M2, we got a two week break, which was really nice. Um, but yeah, unfortunately only one week long, but it's still very nice to have any sort of break. I am going back to Maryland for a few days to see family and friends. I haven't been to Maryland in a few months, so definitely miss it. Excited to go back. So later today, I am going back to University of Maryland to hang out with my friend Noah. Um, probably gonna cook something, maybe play some lacrosse, um, but that's the plan for today. And then tomorrow is when I'm going to be seeing most of my family, I'm gonna go over to my grandmother's house, have a cookout, um, so it's gonna be great to see everyone. While I am very excited to have a break, um, I have to come back and take my neuro shelf. Uh, it's just kind of weird how it works out, but for the people who are on the six week rotations for my school, you know, we have our break and then we have to come back and it's our final week of our rotation. So we'll have a few more days of clinical responsibilities and have to take our shelf and our OSCE. So while we're on break, we can't relax completely because if we just took a whole week off of studying right before the exam, probably wouldn't be the best idea. Right, so I'm back in New Jersey after spending a few days in Maryland. It was great to see everyone, see my family. Um, but I wanted to come back here um, with, you know, several days left in my break one, you know, hang out with Mackenzie and all my friends here. But I, you know, wanted to actually enjoy the beach here. It's, you know, it's been summer, it's been really nice, but it's still hard to find time to go to the beach during rotations. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do that a few times before next week. So today is actually July 3rd, um, but we are going to like a free concert with fireworks on the beach. Uh, they actually do it every single Wednesday here in the summer um, at one of the local towns. So I've, I haven't been, my roommate went last week and said it was really good. Um, so we'll just like have some lawn chairs, just sit down listen to some music for a few hours and then see some fireworks. So with it being break, um, I guess I'm technically in M3 right now. Yeah, I mean, once I get back from break, like the new M1s, it'll be their first week of school. Um, and yeah, I'll be halfway through med school. It's crazy how fast this flew by. I mean, the I thought the first year went by fast, but this year definitely went by faster. I think it's because of rotations, um, you know, actually being in a hospital working and on a, just being busier, um, it kind of makes the time go by faster. And then also, you know, actually enjoying it a little bit more because preclinical just straight up book work is not the most exciting for anyone. So it makes it go by a little faster. So that's why I think this uh, second year where most of the year has been rotations, uh, you know, it's gone by a lot quicker. And you know, even though I'm just barely an M3, uh, we're more than halfway done our clinical rotations. When we get back, I have one more week and then I'm moving on to my next rotation, which is psychiatry. And then after a few more rotations, we'll be taking the step exams and then we'll be into like our elective time where we're able to just choose electives in whatever field that we want to go into. So um, yeah, it's stuff is coming up fast. I mean, this time next year, I'll probably be like starting one of my first away rotations and I will be sort of knees deep in preparing for residency applications because they um, open in September. So I'll be like putting together all my materials, writing a personal statement, all that kind of stuff. Um, not excited about that part because it feels like applying to med school all over again, but you know, it is exciting in the fact that it's moving on to the next step, applying for residency, starting to focus on the field that I want to go into. But yeah, on all, very exciting stuff.
All right, it is Sunday, which means it is unfortunately the end of my break. So last time I checked in, I think it was Wednesday, which was the day before the 4th. So for the 4th, uh, me and Mackenzie went with her roommate to a beach that her family normally goes to. They have beach passes, so um, it's a little bit further away, like 25 minutes, but it was definitely worth it. A lot of the beaches around here can get very crowded, especially during the 4th of July week. Um, so this one, it was really only for people who are local and like have a season pass. So it was really not crowded at all. Um, it was only us and like two or three other groups of people. So that was super nice. We got there around like nine or 10, I think, grabbed some coffee and just stayed until like three. Um, it wasn't crazy hot, which is kind of what I prefer, but um, because of that, what really wasn't warm enough to go in the water, but that's okay, we just kind of relaxed and read. Then after that, Mackenzie and I went back home, just made some burgers. Thankfully, we had already seen a really great fireworks show the night before, so we weren't really missing fireworks. Honestly, the more that I spend time down here, very close to the beach, the more I want to live close to the beach in the future. And honestly, it might be tough with residency just because a lot of residency spots are located in major cities, but I have been looking here and there to see which residencies are near the beach because um, I'm definitely gonna consider applying there. Then after that, the past few days have really just been relaxing some and actually starting to study again. Unfortunately, the way that the break worked out, we have to come back and it's our last week of our rotation, which means we have a shelf in OSCE this week. So while we took the beginning of the week off, now we actually have to study. This upcoming week, I'm gonna be in the neurocritical care unit, which is definitely the most intense week of our neuro rotation. As you can imagine, the patients are the most complicated in the hospital, which just means that rounds take a very long time. You spend a lot more time, um, you know, pre-rounding on your patients and making sure you're not missing anything because these patients are very sick. So it's a little unfortunate how my schedule worked out where I have the most intense week of our rotation right before a shelf, but it is what it is. Hopefully because of how complicated the patients are, it'll be a good learning opportunity and help me learn stuff for the shelf. This rotation flew by. Um, you know, I have been used to eight week rotations and this is only six weeks long, but even the fact that there was a break mixed in here, I can't believe I'm already almost done with neurology. And I only have three more rotations to go after this, all of them being six weeks. So it's like four months until I'm done my core rotations. I just can't believe I'm halfway through med school and more than halfway done with my core rotations. 